Hi everyone, a very good morning to all of you. I welcome you all to another session of RBI 247 wherein we discuss finance current affairs that are relevant for RBI grade B and SEBI grade A exam. So in today's video, we're going to talk about three important news. The first one is about Vostro and Nostro account. A few Russian banks have created Vostro account in Indian banks. That is why we'll study this. Then we'll study about windfall tax, kya hota hai, windfall gain kya hota hai, and also windfall tax. And municipal bond index, a very important news. It is India's first municipal bond index that is launched a week ago. Okay, so the first news is about Vostro and Nostro account. Kuch banks ne, Russian banks ne, around 20 Russian banks ne, India me Vostro account khola hai in India. Now what is this Vostro and Nostro account and why have these banks have created Vostro account in India? So, in 2022, because of the Russia-Ukraine war, uh, you know, because of global supply chains disruption and also because of the war, Russia was excluded from the SWIFT system. So, Russia was in excluded by the Western country from the SWIFT system. What is SWIFT? Society for Worldwide Interbank Financial Telecommunication. Society for Worldwide Interbank Financial Telecommunication. So, it is a mechanism wherein information can be exchanged by one bank to another in two different countries. So, when two different countries mein payment hoti hai, that is when information is supposed to be exchanged between two different banks working in two different countries for any payment or any transaction that has to be made, that is done through the SWIFT mechanism. So, it is a messaging mechanism, SWIFT messaging mechanism, where pe information exchange hoti hai. So, every bank is given a SWIFT code. A code is given to every bank. This code is a unique ID code for every bank which represents the country, the bank account and uh, the branch of that uh, bank. So, this code ke through payments and settlement mechanism takes place in the SWIFT system. Okay, so Russia was excluded from the SWIFT system by the Western countries after the Russia-Ukraine war. Just ki se, trade became very difficult, especially trade in dollars. So, the, all the countries decided, especially India, it realized that we are all dependent on dollars. Dollar pe dependency bhoat zyada increase ho rahe So dependency on dollar was increase, increasing. The rupee was weakening because of the global, you know, the disruptions, the supply chains disruption. And after which it was decided ki India jo hai, it will trade with Russia in their local currency. So Russia and India will be trading in their local currency. Rupee and ruble trade mechanism hua tha. And under this, no payment and settlement will be made in dollar. It will be made in rupees and ruble. Okay. So, payment was supposed to be made in rupee and ruble and not in dollar. So, the dependency of dollar was to be decreased. Supply of rupee was supposed to be increased. Appreciation of rupee was the agenda of our RBI. That is why it was decided that Vostro Nostro account in each other's bank will be created. Just why the payment and settlement can take place. Now, what are these Vostro and Nostro accounts? So, what happens is when a bank working in one country. So, for example, there is an Indian bank. Let's say Yuko Bank. An Indian bank, Yuko Bank, wants to make payment and settlement mechanism to Russia. So, what will they will create a bank account in a Russian bank? They will create an account in a Russian bank. Let's say Bank of Moscow. And this bank account that the Yuko Bank has created in the Bank of Moscow, this account for Yuko Bank will be Nostro account. Nostro means our account. So, our account, the Yuko Bank's account in the Bank of Moscow will be our account or Nostro account. And the same account, that is the same account of Yuko Bank for the Bank of Moscow will be Vostro account. So, this account, ko, Bank of Moscow will be calling this account as Vostro account. That means your account. So, Vostro is a Latin word taken from the, uh, so it means your and Nostro means R. Okay, so Nostro means R, Vostro means your. So this bank account created by Yuko Bank will be R or Nostro account. So similarly, now what will happen is, happen uh, if payment is supposed to be made from an Indian bank to Bank of Moscow or any Russian bank, what will happen is, the bank account khula hai, se directly payment and settlement will take place. So, for example, any Indian exporter or importer, just ne, okay, so, for example, Russia, ko Indian bank ne payment karni hai. Payment is supposed to be made from an Indian uh, bank to Russia. Kisi importer ne import kara hai and payment is supposed to be maintained. So, Russia is maintaining a bank of Yuko, Yuko bank account in ruble. 
and Russia will deduct this amount directly from this bank account. Similarly, if any payment is supposed to be made by Russia to any Indian bank, so Russia will make the payment in the UCO bank directly. Okay, so this will happen directly payment and settlement mechanism a country ka dusre bank mein ho jayega. That is supposed to be happening. Okay, so 20 Russian banks including these banks have opened rupee Vostro account. So this account is created in a foreign currency. Okay, so this Nostro account hota hai. When Yuko Bank is creating an account in Russian bank, let's say Bank of Moscow, then this will be taking place in ruble. And similarly, if a bank of Moscow, a bank, credit bank of Moscow creates any account in Indian bank, it will take place in rupee. So in ke liye foreign currency mein the account maintain hota hai. And for us, for Yuko Bank, this account will be Vostro account. So the account of Bank of Moscow will be for us will be a Vostro account, which means it is your account. So any payment that has to be made by Yuko Bank to this Bank of uh, Moscow will be credited in this account. And if any payment is to be made from the Bank of Moscow to Yuko Bank, it will be deducted. Okay, from this account only. Okay, so in July, RBI allowed international trade in rupees. This we have discussed for doing trade with Russia in rupees. This was supposed to be done to reduce the dependency on dollars and also to appreciate rupee thoda bohat. Okay, so we have understood what is Nostro account, what is Vostro account. Some few points to remember here is that this account pe interest nahi milta. It is only a deposit account that is created by a foreign entity. So a foreign bank has created a deposit account. Ab se payment jo bhi hogi, you can deduct it or if any receipt is to be made in that account that is supposed to be credited. So koi interest nahi milega. The interest is not given on this type of account. And also if there is any overdraft, if there is any overdraft or any insufficient amount, a fees will be charged. So, no interest will not but a fees can be charged in case of overdraft. Okay? So, Nostro account, Vostro account, in US dollars, yes, we have understood this also. The traders will no longer be required to send the payments to India in US dollars. They can now simply deposit the money, that is rupee, in the Vostro account in the two banks. Okay. So, if... Uh, Diagram ke through bhi hum achha se ek bari samaj lete hain. Through this picture. Okay, so we have ICI Bank and City Bank of New York. What will happen is, if ICI Bank is creating an account in the City Bank, for ICI will be, it will be Nostro account. For ICI, ICICI, it will be a Nostro account. Similarly, for City Bank, it will be a Vostro account. This account. But if a City Bank is creating any account in ICI Bank, ICICI, then it will be a Vostro account for ICICI and a Nostro account for City Bank. I hope you understood, which means it is your account. So, this is your account, hai, City Bank ka account hai, in our bank. So, it will be your account or Vostro account. Now, the third concept is Loro. This question was asked uh, to me in my RBI interview, what is Loro account? So, Loro account is very easy. This means, Loro means third party or third entity, right? So, isme we studied Nostro, mein it was ours. Vostro mein it was yours, no, Loro mein it is theirs. So, agar kisi third party ka, it is there. Agar kisi third party ka account hai, that will be their account or the third party's account in this bank. So, for example, Bank of India ne Bank of America mein Nostro account khola hai. Similarly, Bank of Japan ne Bank of America mein Nostro account khola hai. So, if any payment is to be made by Bank of India in Bank of Japan, what they can do is they can transfer this money to Bank of America, which will deposit the money in Bank of Japan. Ka jo account hai. So, Bank of Japan ka jo account hai, which is maintained by the Bank of America, this will be transferred directly from India's bank. Okay. And for India's bank, this Bank of Japan will be a Loro account which means it is their account. So what Indian bank is saying to Bank of America that please transfer so and so amount in their account, in their account, which is maintained in your bank. So when we talk, when we talk about their account, we mean it is Loro account. Okay. 
सो लोरो अकाउंट पढ़ लिया वॉस्ट्रो नोस्ट्रो तीनों चीजें हमने समझ ली है नाउ रशियन बैंक आर क्रिएटिंग वॉस्ट्रो अकाउंट्स इन इंडिया एंड सिमिलरली इंडियन बैंक्स आर क्रिएटिंग नोरो अकाउंट्स इन रशिया फॉर रुपी एंड ट्रेड सेटलमेंट हाउ एवर कुछ प्रॉब्लम आ रही है अभी भी एक्सपोर्टर्स आर स्टिल अनहैपी हाउ एवर दे आर स्टार्टेड रिसीविंग पेमेंट्स इन अंडर दिस मैकेनिज्म सो द मैकेनिज्म इज नाउ एक्चुअली फंक्शनल ओके द सेकेंड टॉपिक दैट वी गोन टॉक अबाउट टूडे इज विंड फॉल टैक्स वाई इज दिस इन न्यूज And windfall tax हमारे लिए पढ़ना क्यों इंपॉर्टेंट है सो वी वर जस्ट टॉकिंग अबाउट द रशिया यूक्रेन वॉर रशिया यूक्रेन वॉर के बारे में हम अभी डिस्कशन कर रहे थे बिकॉज ऑफ द रशिया ओके सो बिकॉज ऑफ द रशिया यूक्रेन वॉर दे एवर ग्लोबल सप्लाई चेन डिस्ट्रप्शन वी ऑल नो ग्लोबल सप्लाई चेन डिस्ट्रप्शन से क्रूड ऑयल का प्राइस बहुत ज्यादा इंक्रीज हो गया है सो सप्लाई में जब भी डिस्ट्रप्शन आएंगे वेन सप्लाई इज डिक्रीजिंग एंड देर इज हाई डिमांड वी नो प्राइज इज इंक्रीज क्रूड ऑयल के प्राइस में बहुत ज्यादा इंक्रीज आ गया था देर वॉज हाई इंक्रीज इन क्रूड ऑयल प्राइसेस बिकॉज ऑफ विच इन्फ्लेशन टू प्लेस इन लॉट ऑफ कंट्रीज एंड रशिया डिसाइडेड टू प्रोवाइड क्रूड ऑयल एट अ डिस्काउंटेड प्राइस रशिया वॉज गिविंग दिस क्रूड ऑयल एट अ वेरी लो प्राइस अब ये क्रूड ऑयल का प्राइस जो है मार्केट में बहुत ज्यादा हाई हो गया था इट रीच टू एन अमाउंट ऑफ डॉलर वन पर बैरल सो इट रीच to dollar 140 per barrel from it was earlier 90 dollar okay initially 90 dollar ka tha and it reached to 140 dollar per barrel itna high ho gaya tha price crude oil so because of this inflation russia decided to uh, you know deliver crude oil at a very discounted price and the indian companies and other companies also from russia they were buying this crude oil at a discounted price so bahut zyada discounted price pe बहुत ज्यादा डिस्काउंटेड प्राइस पे दे वर रिसीविंग क्रूड ऑयल एंड वॉट देवर डूइंग देवर रिफाइनिंग इट एंड फर्दर एक्सपोर्टिंग दिस क्रूड ऑयल टू फॉरन कंट्रीज तो जब आप खरीद रहे हैं बहुत ज्यादा डिस्काउंटेड प्राइस पे एंड यू आर सेलिंग एट अ हाई प्राइस बिकॉज देर इज लेस सप्लाई इन द मार्केट एंड द डिमांड इज मोर तो जो रिफाइन करके वेन यू आर सेलिंग इट एट अ हाई प्राइस When you're selling it at a high price, you are making a huge profit. So, इसी तरीके से कुछ companies ने कुछ Indian companies ने बहुत ज़्यादा profit earn करा था because of this because of this discounted price mechanism. So, because of Russia was giving crude oil at a very low price, जिसकी वजह से after refining, after refining crude oil, they were selling petrol oil at a very high price, which Led to windfall gain. इस प्रोसेस को इस मैकेनिज्म को कहते हैं विंडफॉल गेन सो किसी इवेंट की वजह से वेन देर इज एक्सपेक्टेड प्रॉफिट दैट इज नोन एज विंडफॉल गेन वेन ड्यू टू एनी इवेंट देर इज अनएक्सपेक्टेड प्रॉफिट और ह्यूज प्रॉफिट बिकॉज या तो प्राइसेस बहुत ज्यादा कम हो जाएंगे दैट इज कॉस्ट प्राइस रिड्यूसेस और द प्राइस इन द मार्केट आर हाई विच मीन्स द सेलिंग प्राइस इज हाई सो वेन द कॉस्ट प्राइस इज लो एंड द सेलिंग प्राइस इज हाई यू गेट अ लॉट ऑफ प्रॉफिट so because of an increase in profit and unexpected gain that leads to windfall gain so the government decided ki is excess profit pe this windfall gain the government will be taxing so the government ne is pe tax lagaya tha that is the windfall tax and this first initially i think ye july 2022 mein hua tha yes in july 2022 and the government decided ki in every 14 days this will be reviewed so the windfall tax Will be reviewed by the government in every 14 days. So, अगर आप कभी भी न्यूज पेपर पढ़ेंगे रिसेंटली ओनली इट वॉज द न्यूज पेपर दिस रेट हैज बिन स्लैश तो इधर द गवर्नमेंट इंक्रीजेज और दे और इट डिक्रीजेज डिपेंडिंग ऑन द प्राइसेज ऑफ क्रूड गिवन बाई रशिया एंड ऑल्सो द प्राइसेज ऑफ क्रूड दैट दीज कंपनीज आर सेलिंग एप so uh, on the basis of all, both the prices the government decides this windfall tax either it is slashed or it is increased and this takes place every fortnight that is every 14 days jiski wajah se a lot of investors are having issues when they want to invest in india so agar india mein investment lani hai uski wajah se because it becomes volatile the tax system becomes volatile kabhi increase ho raha hai kabhi decrease ho raha hai that is why investment is not you know uh, open here or the investors are not willing to invest especially in the crude oil sector okay so let's uh, just read once the windfall tax is a higher tax levied by the government against certain industries when economic conditions allow these industries to experience above average profit abhi above average profit ko hi hum kehte hain windfall gain okay so when an industry or especially usually in this case it was oil and gas industry benefits from an event of a one off external situation and makes sudden profit isko hum kehte hain windfall gain 
So crude oil prices skyrocketed following the Russia-Ukraine war and the country's oil companies recorded more than normal profits. This was in 2022 because of the Russia-Ukraine war. Uh, a lot of companies which were selling at high prices after refining the crude oil, they got a lot of more than normal profit, unexpected profits. Ya fir windfall gain bhi am keh sakte hain. So these were the three companies that declared highest net profit for the fiscal year. And to make up for the gap, upon se gap ki baat ho rahi hai, why did the government introduce? So the gap that was created due to high trade deficit, sabse badi baat hai ki deficit baut zyada bad raha tha. The country was importing more and imported price, imported uh, jo price hai, imported inflation increase ho jati hai when there is increase in crude oil. So because of that, import hamara baut zyada high ho raha tha. So when import is high, export is less. There it leads to trade deficit. So because of high trade deficit, because of weakening of rupee, if you you know look at the rupee, it was 83 very recently and it started from 79. Only after Russia Ukraine war, it's an high kaya hai. So because of weakening of rupee, uh, the government decided and also the government you know uh, excise duty cut kar thi government ne in the budget last year. So after this excise duty cut, trade deficit bandi ki wajah se and falling of rupee that is weakening of rupee. So, in sab ke gap ko fill karne ke liye, the government imposed windfall tax on any windfall gain. Okay, so because of this, it is always in news. Every fortnight, mein, the government decided kya changes aayenge and the investors are currently unwilling to invest especially in the crude oil sector in India because of its volatility, because, of the, gov because the government keeps changing it in every 14 days. Okay, the next and very important news is India's first ever municipal bond index. This was started by NSE. So NSE uh, is the you know very first company that has created municipal bond index. NSE is the first index exchange, national stock exchange, which has the first municipal bond index. Leke hai. What will happen is, first of all, municipal bonds dekh lete hai. and then what we will understand what is this index. So municipal bonds are nothing but bonds for, raised. Bonds kya hote? When money is raised, money is raised by any company or any organization for any particular sector. Okay, so usko, jab municipality, municipal corporations, jab municipal corporations, when they raise money, they raise money through municipal bonds. Similarly, just sovereign green bonds hote hai, that are to be invested in, you know, uh, environment impact projects or social stock exchange, ki humne last baat kari thi, wherein bonds or instruments are worth, like I said, for social impact projects, sovereign gold bonds jo hote hai, that are to be, the money here is to be invested in gold. So similarly, municipal bonds, jo hote hai, the money is to be invested in uh, by the municipal corporations or any organization towards infrastructure towards development of municipality or districts okay so for that municipal bonds are issued and jab kuch aise bonds ko ikattha karke when an index is created an index is created it is a mixture of a lot of bonds or securities taken together ab is index ke basis pe inki performance note kari jayegi what is the performance of an index of an entire index or these stocks that are taken in this index. So, abhi ke liye there are 28 bonds that are included in this index and this are by 28 municipal bonds that are included and this are by majorly 10 issuers across the country uh, from, you know, from all the towns that are there who are investing and in ki abhi the current rating is AA rating. Municipal bonds ka benefit kya hota hai? It works as an alternate mechanism for urban infrastructure or for municipal infrastructure. So the dependency on the government for the municipal corporation, it decreases. So the municipal corporation is currently dependent on the government for money. So it creates an alternate finance mechanism. So these mutual municipal bonds, hai. they create an alternative finance mechanism for the municipal corporations. Abhi very recently, Indore Municipal Corporation, ne, they raised bonds and it was very beneficial. Now, investors, ke liye, why is it beneficial to invest in these municipal bonds? Sabse pehle toh, you know, the risk is low here. So, risk grow hai because of volatility in the market. If you see, abhi share market mein bohut zyada volatility hai, even in the bond market. So, because of volatility in the market, low risk investment ban jati hai ye for investors. That is why they are attractive to investors. Okay. So, uh, currently the credit rating of this is AA credit rating. 28 in uh, municipal bonds ne abhi is index mein included hai. So, the NSE has included 28 bonds, municipal bonds in this index and their performance will be mapped on return basis. So, weightage is assigned on these to these index. So, her bond ko kuch na kuch weightage di gai hai and on the basis of the outstanding amount. 
दैट इज जो इन्वेस्टमेंट है जो पूल हुई है बॉन्ड्स को रेस करके ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ द आउटस्टैंडिंग अमाउंट दैट इज ओड और दैट इज रेज द अमाउंट दैट इज रेज ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ दैट वेट इज असाइंड टू ऑल दीज बॉन्ड्स टू ऑल दीज ट्वेंटी एट बॉन्ड्स और उसका एक समेशन करके एक इंडेक्स बन गया है ओके एंड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ दैट इंडेक्स परफॉर्मेंस विल बी नोटेड अब इस इंडेक्स का कोई बेस होगा सो करेंटली द बेस ऑफ दिस इंडेक्स इज मैप्ड एट वन थाउजेंड एंड इफ इट इंक्रीज इज लेट सपोज After a few months, it is 1100, which means कि increase आया है और the performance of this index is increasing. And if it reduces, that means there is low growth or there is no growth. There the performance is falling. So the, uh, yes, it is on total return methodology. So computation. Firstly, it will be reviewed quarterly. ये जो index है इसकी performance जो है quarterly map होगी. And it is on return methodology. And return भी दो basis पे return देखे जाएंगे. That is price पे क्या return आ रहा है and coupon पे. So in any bond we see two things. That is the price and coupon. So coupon coupon rate पे जितना return that is the coupon rate. अब इसको हम return ही कहते हैं एक bond पे. So coupon rate and the price क्या increase है क्या decrease है coupon rate क्या चल रहा है उस पे that will be included in the return methodology and the performance of the index will be mapped on return methodology total return methodology okay so the base date is january 1 2021 and the value is 1000 let's see iske alawa kuch aur hai in india the municipal bond index will track the performance of the bonds issued by the indian municipal corporations okay ye humne samajh liya bahut important news hai ye aaj ki okay that brings us to the end of the session zyada news abhi aa nahi rahi hai so it's a very good thing for all of you you can keep revising abhi tak jitna humne padha hai is baar ka rba exam mein i hope all of you clear your exam so this is our app if you haven't yet downloaded you can let's uh, get started with the questions the first question today is yuko bank of india has opened a deposit account in credit bank of moscow what will this bank be called for yuko bank of india yuko bank ke liye see bank account ek hi hota hai there is only one bank account but unke names different hai why because it is our account for one bank and your account for another bank so when yuko bank is creating it create it becomes a our account for yuko bank of india you will tell me what is the answer to this abhi humne padha hai bahut acche se okay recently 20 banks of russia opened rupee vostro account which of the following statement is are correct about nostro account yahan aapko nostro account ke bare mein pucha gaya hai a nostro account is an account held by a bank of a country in a bank in another country it is opened in foreign currency an account will receive interest rate in this account so no interest rate is received and these two statements are correct a dash is the higher tax rate levied by the government against certain industry when economic conditions allow these industry to experience above average profit a very easy question abhi humne padha hai it is windfall tax so when they experience above average profits because of an event or any economic condition a uh, higher government tax is levied that is a windfall tax not an angel tax not an ad valorem or a sin tax okay uh, this is the question from previous lesson kisi bhi ek lesson se utha ke hum we are going to ask you questions that will be revision for you which of the following statement is are correct about harbinger conducted by rbi bahut important hai ye कि हार्बिंजर पूछ ले आपसे आरबीआई दिस कैन हैपन द थीम कैन बी आस्ट और व्हाट इज हार्बिंजर व्हेन व्हाट इज व्हेन वाज इट फर्स्ट कंडक्टेड कुछ भी आपसे पूछ सकते हैं ओके सो द थीम ऑफ हार्बिंजर 2023 ट्वेंटी इज स्मार्टर डिजिटल पेमेंट 2023 की पूछी है यू विल टेल मी द करेक्ट आंसर इसका क्या है राइट इट डाउन इन कॉमेंट्स बिलो अगर नहीं आता है तो फेब्रवरी में सेशन वॉज टेकन आई थिंक इट वॉज फेब्रवरी डे सेवन जिसमें हार्बिंजर वॉज टॉट इट इज अ ग्लोबल हैकेथॉन इवेंट This was the first ever Harbinger event conducted by RBI. You are going to tell me the answer to this. Yes, this brings us to the end of the session. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.